I recorded an entire review for this catalyst before I realized something. It's just frost armor. That's it. There's there's nothing special about it. You shoot it. You break it. You get frost armor. If you freeze a target and then you kill it, you get frost armor. If you create a stasis crystal using literally anything else and you break it, you get frost armor. It really isn't that important. Now, is it usable? Sure. Catalysts, by their very definition, are never not usable. I mean, in another way to get frost armor is always going to be good. But as it stands right now, frost armor isn't the best keyword. Woven mail is better than frost armor, except for niche behemoth plays in which you lose your class ability so you can automatically generate some frost armor. In PvP, this is actually a pointless effect considering that you can get frost armor from things like renewal grasps very easily with something like dusk field grenade. Um, you know, I, I have, I have nothing, nothing more to say. It's, it just gives you frost armor. And besides that, if you want to talk about how good frost armor is, it could certainly do that. And in fact, it's what I'm going to do because this review would be like 60 seconds long otherwise. So here's a frost armor does grants 4.5%, 2% crucible, damage resist per stack up to 22.5%, 10% in crucible, damage resist at 5 stacks for 9 seconds. And with the Whisper of Rhyme, it increases the maximum stack amount to 8 times, increasing the maximum damage resistance to 36%, 16% in crucible, and increases the maximum duration to 13 seconds up from 9 seconds. Compare that to its strand cousin, Woven Mail, which grants 45%, 25% damage assist in Crucible for 10 seconds. Precision hits and melee attacks from Guardians bypass the damage resist. A very straightforward, simple 45% damage resist just doesn't stack. You get it when you trigger it. In my opinion, Gattles, very, very underwhelming. There are not many ways you can get Frost Armor currently this way with Salvation's Grip. It only grants it to you, the player. It doesn't grant it to any of your teammates. You can destroy your teammates' Stasis Crystals and still get the Frost Armor. However, it's just that. It's just for yourself. It's really Salvation's Grip on its own. It's kind of hard to justify using your exotic armor slot for, but... In this case, using it specifically to get Frost Armor, sure, it's a tiny bit better than if it does or doesn't have it. I mean, it is a better gun with it, statistically speaking, having the free ability to get Frost Armor just for shooting the gun, basically. Um, it's good and all, but compared to anything else it could have been, I feel like this catalyst was just given to it because they invented frost armor and they didn't invent a lot of good armor pieces or other weapons that can trigger frost armor. So they just said, screw it. Salvation's grip. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's honestly it. I have nothing else to say about this. If I had to put this catalyst on a tier list, I'd say it's D tier. I mean, it really isn't bad. There's no truly bad catalyst. I wouldn't say it's good either. You know, considering Frost Armor is not an effect that I think too highly of, and it also isn't worth wasting your exotic on Salvation's Grip just to get Frost Armor. It's just an extra thing that's there that'll probably help you survive a hit or two when you're doing some random activity that necessitates Salvation's Grip, which you can count on one hand unless you're trying to do some niche build. So... Besides that, really, I have nothing else to say. I'm not a big fan of this catalyst. It could have been anything else. I have nothing else to yap about. Have a great day.